Hi, welcome to my keyhole examples video. I'd like to point out that the green arrow where the end view is should be on the right side. Now, if we had that little rectangular prism sticking off the cube, it would show as a rectangle sticking out on the top view. It would also show as a rectangle sticking out on the front view. And on the end view, there would be nothing because it is inside its perimeter. I would also like to add that the solid line between the cube and the rectangular prism would not be there. That was also just by accident. All right, so one of the tricks I like to use during the DAT is look at two objects that look very similar in your answer choices. And in this case, A and D look very similar. So then I like to point out what the differences are in these two objects. I'm gonna draw arrows where the two objects differ from each other. Next, I will compare the top arrows from A and D with the real object. By drawing two small red lines, you can see that the right part of the object is taller than the left side. In choice A, they are both the same height. That leaves us with choice A being wrong because the top is wrong. However, the bottom arrow of choice A is correct because it is proportional. But since choice A has one part wrong, the whole question is wrong. Now looking at choice D, we can see that the height is actually not even, and the right side is higher just like in the actual object. This means that the top of D is correct. However, if we were to look at the bottom of D, we can see that it is way too wide compared to the original angle. If I cut it in half, you can see that there's all this extra fluff here that shouldn't be there. That means D is wrong because the bottom is wrong. Now, the next two choices I'd like to compare are B and E. B and E look very similar to each other, so therefore I compare it. B and E are looking at the top view of this object. If you were to rotate B, you would see that it would be the same orientation as object E. Or, if you were to rotate E, you would see it is in the same orientation as object B. Now, comparing the differences between B and E, we can see that B has a longer stem than E. On the actual object, we can see that it has a long stem. So, therefore, E must be incorrect because it has a much shorter stem than what B does. Lastly, we're going to compare B and C. Because then I can't eliminate B, I'm going to check out what C is. C is looking at the right end view of the object. The arrow I drew is on the left end, which was a mistake. It should be on the right end. As you can see, the right side of the stem is actually sticking out higher than the left side. This means that there is going to be a little stump coming off the top because the right side is a little bit higher. Therefore, if you look at option C, there should be a stump coming off the top. Since there is not, C can be eliminated, which leaves us only with B to be the correct answer.